Hi, welcome back to our channel. My name's Jolie and welcome to my art studio. Again, um, I was changing it up because I haven't figured out like the best background, but I don't know, this one seems to work well. This... <laughs> just for today, it's okay. All right, so we're just gonna be reading. So some of you don't even see the background. And um, I'm really grateful that you're here with me so that I can continue to read to somebody. So now we're reading to quite a few people and I'm really grateful that you're here. And um, just organized my, my area a bit because I have projects here for some um, commission work that uh, that I I feel drawn to complete since if I don't get a deadline I have an issue like I need like okay on June so and so or on February 3rd or like you know like I need deadline otherwise I'm all out I'm like well I'll get to it oh I'm not in the mood like I'm led by my feelings which is not productive. And <laughs> so anyhow, all right, onward with the reading. This is the book uh, right now that we're reading. Um, let's see, I've painted on my fingers because I felt like painting today. And um, what's the date? Let's get to it. Uh, July 27, July 23rd. That's what we're reading, July 23rd. A little time for myself. All right, you're ready? Page 205, July 23rd. Um, let's say the serenity prayer to start. God grant us the serenity to accept the things we can't change, to have the courage to change the things we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. There's a lot in that small prayer that for me, even before I went into recovery, I would say that as a mantra, not really getting it. Like I thought, okay, that's helping me today somehow, but I didn't really like understand it. And daily it changes for me, you know, whether or not I'm like soaking that in or meditating on those, those ideas. What is that idea? So let me just go ahead and read. And then uh, maybe that has something to do with the reading today. I don't know. I'm reading it first with you. So very spontaneous using my, my spontaneous here. So here it goes. Sometimes as I grow and change with the help of Al-Anon or recovery group, God, I'm suddenly overcome with fear. So sometimes as I grow and change in recovery and awakening and implementing um, tools to mature and face reality, I'm suddenly overcome with fear sometimes. I try to convince myself that no dangers or difficulties would occur if I just put on the brakes and came to a standstill. And in an instant, change becomes my enemy rather than my goal. I can relate to that because depression is having like a group of anxiety accumulating in my body bucket. That's how it feels. So one way al uh, helps me to let go of fear and embrace change is by its own example of fellowship. Uh, if our pioneer members had let fear of change stand in their way, um, our main purpose would be to serve coffee and cake to AA. We're not just here to serve coffee and cake to AA members. That's not what Al-Anon is. So many of the things I take for granted today as 
part of the program, including the suggested welcome, the World Service Conference, and conference approved literature. That's this is, um, this book evolved slowly over time. True. So today's reminder. I just want to go back in in the history of Al Anon and AA. What I was, what I've read and have learned through um, other members is that it was, I think her name was Phyllis. Is that right? She was the wife of one of the founders who went around with, with uh, one of the founders of AA. And she created a space for the wives at the time. Now it's for everyone. Of course it was for everyone. It's just that that's how it started and it evolved. So evolving and changing is um is scary to think about because what does that look like but i believe that it's important to just allow i mean allowing is one of the cornerstones of recovery is allowing things to happen not pushing against or resisting um yes we do our work we do our due diligence and we know what's okay and what's not okay for us and in ourselves and our boundaries, but um, to include others, all different, all differences is really important, um, at least into, I believe it's important for everything. You know, that's just how I roll. Um, I'd like to hear um, only nice comments, please. Um, one of the Alanon, uh, ways that al helps is for me to let go of fear and embrace change is by its own example of fellowship. Because if our pioneers had let fear of change stand in their way, um, we would just be serving cake and coffee to AA. Okay, so the wives are like, no, that's all we can do. But you know, it takes time to evolve and change and to um, learn about ourselves. I mean, we are all affected by addiction and alcoholism. So we are learning what's okay and what's not okay so that we can be the best versions of ourselves in or not in uh, active, addictive, alcoholic relationships. I mean, I'm not in an active one, in a partnership, but what I found for me just over the years, I mean, I'm in, I'm, I'm going to be 57 in, uh, in the next less than a month. And in my experience, I've just like, I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not able to handle all of that <laughs> because I just can't, I'm trying to work on myself. I'm just like, oh, I need to work on me because I have always like dug into others. So I have myself and I have my kids and I have my mom, my sisters, you know, my friends and my coworkers. That's plenty. That's plenty. Because I'm enough as it is. I'm enough for any for myself to handle right now. So today's reminder, I'm very grateful for our fellowship deliberate fellowship's deliberate, thoughtful approach to change. Yes. I hope to always move through fear, I want to hope always to move through my fear, following the model of our program, because that's like, okay, I can do this little by little, keep it simple, um, surrendering to loss to gain serenity, how important is it? You know, my relationships have thrived in the last um, little under five years of being in this program. So, um, so, I mean, I can only give what I have and that's, um, yeah, growth cannot occur without change. Our history as a fellowship is a long continual series of changes. And that's from the book, Many Voices, One Journey. So um, question of the day. What can I learn about change today from like Al-Anon's history, Al-Anon's history of, of it just being 
the lives trying to um, get through, like trying to understand like where, what's going on? Like, how do I deal with this? How do I deal with this constant, you know, relapsing and, and um, not getting their needs met and um, things like that. So uh, hairdo today. All right. So I love you. And I will see you God willing tomorrow with another reading, if not sooner. I'm super excited that um, we're already the end of July. So many things have happened and, um, you know, change happens no matter what, whether we resist it or not. I found like for me, like if I resist things that are, are happening, like I know like that I've done that in the past and I know that I have resisted and I'm aware of that because I feel really stressed. I feel like angry. Uh, and um, take things too too serious. Like like I I had this this hard this hard shit of a way of looking at something, and I can't pass it. You know, like it's it just gets to that point. So I'm in the the process, at least you know the ups and downs of of in my life, I feel like now I'm in a way of like figuring and, and accepting the purging, accepting the detox of, of that, you know, so, because, you know, I'm powerless over so many things. We all are. I mean, you know, how other people act or how other people in our lives that we love, um, what they do, um, I, I can't control any of that. So I do, and I've also learned um, outside of the program as well. It's like, I mean, I'm mostly outside of the program. I'm not an Alan on channel. I'm not an AA channel. Um, I've just learned in my experience that, you know, um, If I worry about stuff, like sometimes I can't help worrying because I'm like, oh no, what if this happens? Then I go, okay. Then I have the tools to like stop and go, it's going to be okay. So I go into action. I'll like keep busy with something. It's not that I'm squashing my feelings um, because I'm like pre, I'm thinking about like the future that like I'm missing the present that makes sense so anyhow love you see you god willing tomorrow with another reading and stuff all right very good mm -hmm. oh like and subscribe if you haven't already thank you very much oh let's say this the third step prayer whoever is still hanging out god i offer myself to thee build with me and do with me as thou wilt relieve me of the bondage of self so that i may better do thy will Take away my difficulties so that victory over them, bear witness to those I would help with power, love, and way of life. May I do thy will always, amen. All right, so keep coming back. It works if you work it and you're worth it. And I love you and I will see you again tomorrow. God willing.